The dogs are off, but our picks never are. Um, Ole Miss, Matt, is a 20-point favorite hosting the Sooners. I, uh, well, we know Oklahoma can't score 20 points. Can they, with, can they can withhold the Rebel charge at, at that stage? Who do you have in this one? I don't think so. I'm not super confident in this one, but I think Ole Miss is going to take care of business on the road in a big – I mean, no, at home. At, at home, home in a big way. The Sooners stink. The, the Sooners stink. I, I'm, I'm not buying into them at all. Give me Ole Miss. They're 5-2. and two. They need to start looking a lot better. I think they do this weekend, Ryan. Yeah, we, we we sat there and watched South Carolina dismantle Oklahoma the other day in Austin. Um, not good. It's getting worse as the season goes on, which is this, the sad part, I guess, is, is would be the way that I'd put that. It's it's a little bit sad to watch. Ole Miss, they're good enough to to blow that team out. I'll take them as well. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Rebs as well. They do need to keep playing, start playing better. This game here is a Friday night game that true junkies watch, like this group. But it is actually very important. This is a 10:30 start. Ryan, you've got your coffee. Are you gonna be mm-hmm. ready for when the Boise State uh, Broncos come to play the Rebels of UNLV for probably not just first place in the Mountain West, but likely that last playoff spot? Uh, they are UNLV is getting three and a half at home on the strip. Ooh, UNLV is pretty good too. They're six and uh, I'm one. Leaning, I'm leaning Boise State. I, that's buying into the hype a little bit. Uh, I'm going to take them. Ashton Gentry's legit, right? I, we haven't seen a running back. I guess it's been two seasons because Bijan Robinson was pretty good a couple of years mm-hmm. ago. But it's only every couple of years. Now, don't don't give me that look. It's not just Falcons bias. It's only every few years you see a running back that good, and their their offense. Look, if UNLV stops the run, they're going to win this game, but I don't think they will. I'll take Boise State. I'm going to take the running Rebels and Haj Malik Williams, dog post guy. Yeah, I wrote about him. He was two-star, three-star, showing up in a big way as a senior for the Rebels. They can play. That kid can sling it. I think if they can slow down that Boise State run game, uh, I think they can they can win this game. If not, give me a close cover. I'll, I'll take UNLV at home at 19. I'm going to take the Rebs as well. No one uh, – I'm a big fan of Las Vegas, uh, but this is a really critical game. UNLV is pretty good, I have to tell you. They're five, they're 6-1. and one. Uh, Boise's only loss is to Oregon. UNLV's only was on the road at Syracuse. I believe it was on the road, but it was Syracuse. Notre Dame in a ranked matchup against the Naval Mid- – the, Univers- uh, the United States Naval Academy Midshipmen – a matchup of six and zero Navy against six and one Notre Dame. The uh, midshipmen are thirteen point dogs at home. It's not at home. They're playing at Giant Stadium. I'm going to take Navy. I, I Notre Dame does deal with the the option every single year, Ryan. But it it is tricky to deal with. I say this game's closer. I've got the Irish to win, but give me them points. Give me the points too. Give me the points, too. I like what's going on in college football. I saw uh, Army, Navy, and Vanderbilt all ranked. I don't I don't know that that's happened in a very, very long time. It's a fun year of college football. Navy, Navy being a little bit better than they were the last few years makes it better. And you guys you guys know how I feel about Notre Dame. I don't think that – that team's slipping up soon against a team that it's worse than. I, it could be this week, but give me the points. Yeah, got to give me Navy. Uh, Brian Newberry, their head coach former uh Kennesaw State coach when I was there so he's a friend of mine he's a dog post guy Brian Newberry knows what he's doing uh Navy is rolling right along may not win but I'm gonna take my guy and his uh midshipmen to cover this one Illinois I don't know listen CBS made the decision probably in 2016 or 2018 for sure that they were just not going to be a part of the future of the SEC with the way that they negotiated with the league and that gave them the Big Ten after a while. And they've managed to have some pretty good Big Ten games. I, I don't know the ins and outs of that contract like I know some of the other situations. But they've got a great game this week, CBS, with Illinois um, playing Oregon. I, I will I will add that, that Fox took Ohio State, Nebraska, which maybe sounds better, but it's not the better game. Um I've got Illinois here. They are a 21. They're getting 21 and a half points on the road, Matt. Now that on the road, now that I say, I don't know, but uh, I, I think Illinois can fight you. 
Oregon's better, but Illinois can fight you. This is an important game for both, needless to say. This might be the week where Oregon takes a small step backwards. I mean, they look a lot better than they did early in the year. Can they keep that going? I'm not so sure. I think they win the game too, but we've watched Illinois play this year. That is a good football program that knows what they're doing, well-coached. I think so. It's just too many points. Even on the road, I, I like Illinois' style of play on the road too. If they can, you know, handle, you know, and, and win their, you know, uh, their battles in the trenches, this could be a lot closer than people think. Ryan, I'm going to take Illinois to cover that big line. Yeah, I took the Ducks. I think I was the other one that took the Ducks last week uh, to cover that big line, but I'm not going to do it two weeks in a row just because that that's a lot. And Illinois is much much better than Purdue was. Um, Oregon hasn't shown outside of that Purdue game that they are going to be able to cover, right? When it comes to the, they've been favored by big amounts yeah. in almost all these games outside of the Ohio State game. And Purdue, a really, really bad football team, is the only team they did it against. That is not Illinois. I will take the points and the Illini to cover it. I'm sorry, Ryan. The Alabama Crimson Tide are going to be a 330 kick in Tuscaloosa. Missouri, Ryan and I watched this. Oof. <laughs> They were fortunate to get out of that Auburn game alive. Auburn's become really good at letting people off the hook. I don't know which is more. I mean, this is a complete elimination game for one of these two. Mizzou is not going to get to the end with two losses without winning this game. They've already got one. They should have had one to Vanderbilt. Missouri is a 14-point dog at Bryant-Denny, Matt DeBerry, who seems to really be either doing algebra or studying this uh, situation. I'm looking at the lines and trying to do a little research here on the fly. Yeah. I was going to take Missouri. I really was. But my gut instinct right now is don't do it. Don't do it. I don't think that – the Alabama fans are mad. I expect it to be a pretty bad environment. I feel like the fans have given up already. Not a ton to play for except for pride because I don't think they're going to get into the playoff. Maybe I'm crazy. Alabama? think they're going to come out and, and get a big victory the more I dig into this. Was going to pick Missouri. Last-minute flip. I think Alabama wins this game by a couple touchdowns. You do not think Alabama gets in the playoff, you said? Not the way they're playing right now, yeah. but I think Missouri's – I keep telling myself, they're worse than I think. I'm going to put down Alabama to, to cover. All right. Yeah, I, I agree with Matt about Alabama. Um I was kind of rooting for Missouri to make things interesting in in the SEC this year. I thought that there was a legit chance that they could end up being in the SEC championship. And then right after I said that out loud is when they decided they weren't going to play as well as they had been. So on the road, Missouri is trending down right now. I know Alabama is trending down, too. But I'll I'll take the home team there. I'm seeing it at 13 and a half, Dean. Are you get it? You got it at 14. I have it at 14. I didn't know we were talking hooks on here, but apparently we yeah. are. Go ahead, Ryan. Tell me that that half point matters to me. But I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Alabama regardless. Matt's right. I mean, this season is on the line. One more yeah. SEC loss, and uh, you know, or I, I I'm assuming they just only play SEC from here on out. I think, but they got to go to Baton Rouge at night. I'm assuming it'll be at night here in a couple of weeks. Um, and that's a game, I'll tell you right now, I'm probably taking LSU to cover and win weeks ahead of time. So I've got the tie today. It's a must win this week. Yeah, they've still got the Mercer Bears in their medical facility down there. Okay. So you've so you've got uh, Missouri at, Ole Mi- at LSU after a week off, Ms., uh, Mercer at Oklahoma, which is completely winnable, and then they host Auburn, which is also winnable. I mean, you can see a path for Alabama, but – It does involve going straight through Death Valley, which is not a lot of fun. I'll take uh, Alabama as well, just because, um, you know, Missouri is very unsteady. I don't know. I I just, I don't know. Penn State is a, excuse me, I skipped one. The Texas Longhorns are a 18 and a half point favorite at Vanderbilt. A game that is sure to be curious. It's on SEC Network, which has virtually replaced the Longhorn Network in the hearts and minds of those in Austin. Um, this is a battle for second place in the SEC. Uh, the loser will be in real trouble trying to get to the SEC championship game. Yes, I'm talking about Vanderbilt and Texas. But, Matt, the Horns are an 18.5 point favorite. Now they're going to see what it's like to play in this league where you have a tough matchup, then you have to go play some weird game in Nashville where the other team is ranked. 
Yeah, I would be very disappointed if Texas doesn't come out with some fire and energy after that tough loss. They need to regroup. I think Vanderbilt has peaked at 25. Really cool. Nice story. Play hard. But Texas uh, needs to come out and say, hey, you know, we got to get it together. We just got punched in the face five different times in our own building. We're better than this. We need to prove it. I think Sark's going to have his guys ready. I think they'll uh, see a big improvement offensively. Uh, they're not playing that Georgia defense. I think they'll be able to score some points. And I don't know, I just I think the Vanderbilt story, Ryan, is coming to an end. Big rebound win for Texas. They're going to cover that line. Yeah. I want to take Vanderbilt, but I just I did the too. logic is telling me not to. The logic's telling me not to. I, I, I don't know that this is a battle for second place, right? I mean, A and M and LSU will one of them won't be undefeated anymore, but then there's going to be a couple one losses. Something like that. Right. But thank you for your I'll clarification. Take the Longhorns. I'll take math. I'll take the Longhorns as well. Yeah. I don't like it though. I don't like it. I will say this about the SEC standings. It's much more complicated to figure out who's actually, unless they played, like so, da, 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 like right now Georgia is over Texas because they played them and beat them, but they haven't played Vanderbilt. So it's like a, it's a little bit of a mess, but we knew, we knew Ryan's uh, uh, White County education. My logic was going to enter at some point. Showing, showing us how much better he is than everybody else. Some of us did not go to Georgia undergrad, Ryan. So uh, thank you for your um, pointing that out. Hey, look, I'm going to take the Vanderbilt Commodores here. Here's why, and here's why. I think it is hard to go to play there. Um, it's weird to go play there. I think that 18 and a half is too many for a team that's not even lost by a touchdown this season, which is Vanderbilt. So I think Texas is good. I fully expect Texas to play in the playoff, perhaps the SEC Championship. They may win the National Championship. It's harder for me to believe that after this weekend, but uh, I'll take Vanderbilt. The uh, Penn State Nittany Lions are a six point six and a half point favorite on the road at Camp Randall Stadium. So six and a half, not seven. This is another decent game for uh, the Big Ten in terms of brand names. Um, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to take Penn State. I, I know maybe I will regret that. I will enjoy watching them not win this game if they don't. I think they can lose this game for the record. Penn State does not have the athletes that, that Alabama has, but they have Alabama Universe guys. Wisconsin cannot play with that. That is not a situation for them, Ryan, that they, can, they can't perform in those situations. But it is hard at Camp Randall. The thing about Alabama is they got out to a lead. They also had Jalen Milrow, who was playing peak Jalen Milrow for about six quarters there. But I, I, I'll i take I'll take uh, Drew Aller and uh, Penn State. He's playing better. Uh, and um, that's all I have to say about it. But I would not be shocked with a straight-up loss either. Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. It feel it feels like we haven't had a we're due for a, a top team to lose to an unranked team. That's that's coming here soon. But and that's what I would just that's what Alabama's for. <laughs> that exactly. I, I had I thought about that, but we might get another one soon. I'm gonna go with Penn State though. I, I think that your point about just having those types of athletes, Wisconsin can't play with that right now. We we saw it once before the difference. This is not the Wisconsin of, I don't know, eight years ago, something like that. That was a competitive football team and by default playing in Big Ten championships. But I got Penn State. I, I think that they're going to end up in the playoff. I don't think that they're a serious championship contender, but they're going to be in the mix. Yeah, I think this is like a 21-14 game, 17-10 to 10 type of Big Trash. Ten classic. Who can find a way to score like three touchdowns and play good defense? At the end of the day, I think Penn State is more talented. They're deeper. They're better coached. And I think they can win the game by seven points. But I, I think it will be close, and I think they'll win by seven or ten. So tight ball game, but I think Penn State's just a little bit better. I think they'll get the job done. Yeah. I, I, I'm, and listen, I think it's a pretty good week of football, to be honest yeah. with you. I've seen, I've seen worse. I've seen worse. Lovely. Before we get to our last pick, make sure you're tuning in with us on Riding Home. I know so many of y'all do. Make sure you're checking out our, our instant analysis. When I say R, I mean Matt's. Um, and uh, right after the game, it's really important. And we, we appreciate everybody that's watching these. We had a very eventful Riding Home this past time. Ryan and I were – people. somebody said, why are you eating? Here, now, let me explain this just for a second. They didn't give us any food at the game. 
So, uh, <laughs> so at two o'clock in the morning and you've eaten at noon local, it's time to eat. You have a comment on that, Ryan, quickly? Same thing as Kirby. Our intent was to eat, man. Ah. And that's what we did. That's what we did. For all the haters in the comments, because there were definitely enough of them, uh, I don't think that we were chewing while eating. I was pretty conscious of that. So. I think I did once. But, I mean, yeah. hey, listen, when you're a man on the road in a parking deck charging your electric car like a real man. <laughs> charging uh, our Kia Nero. Car charging your Kia Nero that will not hold a charge past 150 miles. This is the things that you do, Matt. You missed out on all of these adventures. Texas no, ain't. Oh, I missed out on that one, but I know the grind. <laughs> it's, 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 never too, it's never too <laughs> late for another dog post adventure. Uh, what parking deck will we on, wind up in? Well, how many of these parking decks? The pink did we one go or to? the red one? What's that? There was a pink deck and a red deck across the street from each other. It was. Uh, it was. It was something. I loved Austin. I thought it was great. Um, I wish I had. We had more time there. Uh, speaking of something to watch and have fun, ABC's got a great game on uh, Saturday night, Ryan. Uh, LSU travels to Kyle Field to play the Texas, Ag- Texas A&M Aggies. Everybody's real f- – boy, that group. They're all in their feelings about everybody throwing bottles the other day. So we told y'all they was going to do it. Well, all right. you have If you had that on your bingo card, congratulations, Texas A&M fan. But go ahead, Ryan. You have something to say about that? Yeah, you know how uh, a girl has got you on the hook? L- I'm on LSU's hook right now. I think that this team is getting better. Uh, they're, I'm, give me LSU and the points. We were talking about with Dylan. We met up with Dylan and Austin. We were talking about A&M. We were talking about Whoop. We we literally met met one of them later on that night. Saw an Met a range. Texas A&M graduate is what he means. I think Texas say. A&M is going to get whooped. So uh, I've got the Tigers. I don't know. It almost seems like LSU is playing too well that they're going to go to to College Station and get you know crushed. But I don't see it happening. They're playing too well right now. I like uh, Nussmeier. I think LSU fans kind of hated him early in the season. I think they're coming around to him. I think they're the better team, and anyone can go into College Station and win. And, and I don't want to hear about how that's such a tough place to play. I'm not buying it. Just sit down. Sit down, enjoy the game. It ain't working. That, you ain't winning because you're all standing up. Give me a break, hooting and hollering out there. Give me the Bayou Bengals uh, to win this one. They're, I think they're better. Well, I mean, I've got LSU too. Um, you know what was so funny? You talking about standing up? Uh, the, I don't think anybody was sitting down at Daryl K. Roll the other day, were they? Nope, getting in my way. Twelfth in my way. Yeah. I, I understand the hook'em thing and all that, but every play, I mean, every play, some of them were dedicated to that. The moment that the ball was snapped, the whole time. Well, what does putting I'm the su- horns in the air mean? Like, how does that help your team? What does barking help? I mean, it's all the same. It makes noise. I thought it was Oklahoma State did the, the guns. The guns. The, no, the I'm horn. talking about hook'em. This man. Oh, hook. Hey. Get the gang signs, all right? We got the, the horns, yeah. Sooners, pistols firing, which is Ohio, <laughs> which is Oklahoma State. I think the Cougs are this uh, for Houston. Um, like, there's all sorts of this is the, the yeah Sikkim Bears, U. which is Baylor. Yeah, all of the big U's South, U's. all of the old, former Southwest Conference schools have their their gang signs. Um, <laughs> Georgia does not have a gang sign, and I don't know if anybody in the SEC does. Carolina does this thing. Matt, you can explain for your people. Is this a chicken thing? They have the bell. The hand sign's a bell. Mississippi State, they got something. Yeah, but they're ringing an actual bell, which is its own stupid thing. Everybody has their dumb thing. Go ahead, Ryan. What were you going to say? Yeah, I I was going to say I'm upset. I thought that I was going to be the only one to take LSU, but all three of us are. No, I got LSU not because I like them, but because they played well enough to stick around and be a threat. LSU can beat Georgia. They can beat Oregon. They can beat Ohio State. They just are not going to beat all three. And, and you know, I, I think Elko's done a really good job um, at A&M so far. I, I, I'm very curious, eager, all of the adjectives I can describe for that A&M Texas game um, in a few weeks. That's going to be a complete – psychopath fest because I think there's going to be something on the line for at least one of those teams, which means there's something on the line for both. And, um, you know, I, I, I don't know. 
I like LSU in this game, and I'll take them. LSU does this now. They do they do the L. Yeah, they do the L. So they maybe I'm wrong about the though. gang signs. They've got a lot going on down there. Well, they do have a lot going on. Those people are nuts. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.